Hey everyone, I'm back again doing another toy graph reveal. Um, you probably see that uh, this is the top down view. Uh, this is my new setup that I'm doing for all my videos now. I'll be doing some modeling videos and some toy reveal videos. Um, I used to have a, like a camcorder that zooms in and zooms out, but it's really hard to do that. Uh, instead, I'll I'll just pull in and I'll pull it back out with uh, with my phone camera. Hopefully, um, you know I make make enough money selling some of my toys, so I could uh, buy a new phone. My phone is like almost two years old, and it's pretty outdated already. The battery is like not doing so well, and the camera is really bad. But let's let's talk about the reveal uh, today. I'll be reviewing the. Toy Graph Gamma figure, uh, the blue spray version. Um, there's a couple versions out there. I, I do have the glow and dark version, and that version is ha the hardest one to get. And this version is pretty hard to get to, but hard to get to. Um, this version has like uh, red spray on his mouth. Um, also have some gold sprays on his teeth and gold spray on his tusk. Uh, two black eyes, which is uh, really circular. Um, blue spray on his head, on his shell. Silver spray is on his shell, on the back. A little bit of silver spray on the neck of the camera, which is really good. Uh, silver spray is on his chest, where his shell is. Uh, different kind of spray of um, silver and blue on his arms. And same for his legs. This is made out of uh, pink vinyl, which is really good. Uh, so the whole figure is really painted really well. Also, it can stand really good. Uh, it doesn't wobble. It only stands with two feet. The, the tail doesn't touch the ground, which is good because it doesn't scratch the tail uh, when you rub it, which is really nice. Uh, for articulation, uh, the head three, rotates 360. Uh, the arms rotate 360. And the legs rotate 360, which is really good. Um, this figure is really quite rare and hard to find now. I rarely see these sell uh, anywhere. Um, um, they go for around $200, I think. But you could probably buy for cheaper, but good luck finding one. I mean, the company went out of business for a long time, and it's hard to find one of these. And people rarely let go of their camera figures because uh this is really old and the company went out of business and i heard that um the president um passed away and rip on that rip for him but that's kind of sad to hear that his toys are really in in right now because it's rare and it's hard to find but if you could find this, um, buy it. Um, it's really nice to have in your collection. And also, it doesn't take much of shelf space. Uh, it's a really small figure. Well detailed and well well sculpted and well painted. Um, when I get a chance, I'll get the glow and dark figure and I'll review it and have it glow with an LED flashlight. I'll shine it first and then close the light and then... I'll show you how it glows. Um, this phone will not pick up uh, light that well. So it shines more than what is shown. So you'll probably see that soon. Um, I'll be digging up some toys uh, soon on that. But uh, hopefully uh, you guys uh, like this review. And I'll be doing more reviews like this. And also some modeling reviews. And also, uh, I'll be doing some modeling myself on uh, on some of these uh, videos, so you guys see me uh, complain and talk. Really complain. I complain a lot when I'm building models. Why didn't do this? Why didn't do that? Or why is this so hard to sand? I just complain a lot when I'm building models. But you probably like it. Hopefully, you guys like it. But um, collecting toy graph is my hobby, and hopefully I can get a lot of them. Um, 
I did a lot of Toy Graph uh, Space Trooper reviews. And I think I have a couple more reviews I need to do for Space Troopers. But in the meantime, uh, this is good for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.